Good afternoon, guys. Uh, so today uh, we'll talk about the VLOOKUP formula and uh, we'll do some error handling as well. And this question actually uh, is asked by uh, somebody, uh, you know, through email, and uh, he actually asked me that uh, is there any way to uh, use the VLOOKUP, you know, uh, in order to identify whether your you know elements of your table content of your table is available in the primary table you know the main table uh, so uh, so far uh, you know you might have used the VLOOKUP always with the second column column index number two column index number three four five and so on right so the good thing about the VLOOKUP is that and the surprising element to many of you uh, who you know would be watching this video at this point in time is that VLOOKUP can also be used uh, not just to return the values but also to you know check actually whether your values exist in the main table or not and you can always use the column index number as a one for that right i'm talking about this column index number so uh i'm sorry but i haven't got actually uh, your data you haven't uh, you know discussed about the sample database so i'm assuming um, that you know you might have might be using uh, two tables one table i have written here i have put in some you know uh, dummy entries over here. I have curd, milk, guava, orange, pumpkin, and some food items, you know. And uh, I assume that this is the main table from where you actually want to find whether your uh, these uh, contents, the elements, you know, are available in this main table or not. And in case if it is not, then uh, you would want that, you know, that it should display that the content is not available. And in case if it is available, then uh, possibly you want that the item should be. Uh, return as it is right so what you can do is uh, you can actually write here remarks or maybe uh, like you know status so what you can do is uh, go to the VLOOKUP formula and use this as the first lookup value and go to the main table and select this table entire E to E in case if you have some uh, you know more tables uh, beneath this supplement uh, maybe you have some like table table three here table four and then try to you know uh, ensure that your range should be only this much you know it should always be e2 to e16 right that's something which is a part of a cell referencing and uh, it's always uh, uh, very important to put the right dollar word uh, absolute referencing and relative reference that's a you know entirely different chapter anyways so i'm not gonna get into that but i'm going to freeze this uh, table for now you can understand this and so in this case um, you might have used this two, three, and so on. You know the index numbers, but uh, under such scenarios where you are looking your uh, particular element in the main table, the primary table, then what you can do is you can instead press, you know, write the one, the column index number one, because my main table has only one uh, column. So I'm going to write here uh, one zero zero is for the uh, exact match, right? And press enter. And since, as you can see here, the curd element might not be there. Let me just check. All right, so we don't have any curd here. That's why it's, you know, it's uh, giving us this error, which is called the NA. It it has not found that, but just track this formula. So wherever you have these entries, so it can actually tell you, you know, that these are the elements which are available in the main table, and these are the elements which are not available. Now what you can do is you can further go one step ahead, and instead of showing these errors, because generally when I actually work on the Excel. I really hate you know seeing these errors because it gives me more of a kind of a you know it's, a, it's more of an impression like you might have done something wrong you know and the formula is not working you might have placed incorrect formula but which is eventually not the case as you can see here uh, the products which are not available in the main table so that's why it, it was unable to find and uh, it has thrown this error so it is uh, actually a genuine error right so instead of showing that you can say the if error and uh, in if error the value this the whole function will be executed and in case if it is going to get the error then what you want is maybe you would like to say that uh, content or item is out of stock you know from the main table right please order or whatever i mean you you, you that's your choice right so just drag this formula and uh, this is how you can actually prepare a good inventory list in case if you are dealing with these kind of uh, you know data points otherwise you can prepare i mean you can uh, always uh, the point is uh, i'm trying to make is that you know use the logic and uh, use your own comments whatever you want to do and you can prepare the formula so uh, if i'll have here curd available uh, let's say let me just write here somewhere uh, maybe here curd 
then what will happen is eventually I'll get this card back so items who was out of stock I can do the filter and uh, I can actually you know do this I can filter the out it items out of stock and I can check that what all items are the out of stock and I can order them further right so that's it for now guys uh, I hope this would be a good learning for you and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, one thing more um, just these are the my playlist when you watch this video on the YouTube just click on my name and then go to the playlist option and here I have uploaded all the videos and this video too will be uploaded on the Excel videos this is gonna be my 70th video so watch my all 69 videos and I'm sure you're gonna get something out of it and it would be a great learning and uh, thank you so much for writing your emails and uh, I apologize my apologies to you because I got a little delay at this time in uploading the video um, though however I have a lot of lot of long list you know I have a long list actually of your questions so I will definitely go ahead and upload the videos very soon thank you so much and that's my email ID in case if you have some issues or maybe you're looking for some training just do let me know about it and uh, don't forget to subscribe thanks a lot bye bye